All right, so we got the cars set up for the most part. And one of the most important things you gotta do when you set up camp is... Level your car up. Yes, which we had to do just now. So you can see that tire is way down. That tire is way up. And if we come around the back, that tire is way up. That actually looks really good. Makes me wanna lower my car when I see it like that. But then in reality, it's like driving on these kind of roads. Yeah, I don't know if I want to lower my car. Driving on these roads right now, it's kind of like, okay, have to be very careful. On the lowered car, I don't think we would have attempted this at all. Exactly. So. But I think we're pretty level now. I'm happy with it. Brother what? Mitch is over there yonder. He's pondering how he's going to set up his hammock and how he's going to pull the truck in because we use the, the tailgate for all of our stuff as well. And we're going to be sitting by the campfire out here. So he's mm -hmm. trying to figure out logistics. Yep. But now we're about to pop this thing, this open thing up and set up camp. Oh, it's going to be our last time camping in the Smitty Built That's Overlander. Right. We forgot to mention oh. that. Oh, good old Smitty Built. We love you. That was a good first time tent. Yep. campers we pretty much have camp set up thanks for resident part. um and cat has been building the firewood uh, not firewood but building the fire yeah. you i need an axe no i need an axe man to do this ah axe man so x man I, I guess i'll play x man while you go do what you gotta yep. do x man and, uh, i'm gonna chop some wood up so we can get our fire really we blazing we have successfully set up base camp wow we have uh, this in the background just in case it drizzles or anything, which uh, doesn't really seem like it will, but you know, you can never be too careful, especially when you're like out, out. Got a fire going, about to grill some food up. And uh, yeah, we got our shelter ready over yonder. And Brother Mitch will be coming back soon. And he already has his shelter ready. Oh yeah, Brother Mitch came back. Lucy, uh -huh. <laughs> huh? Lucy, uh -huh. Lucy! Lucy! Tent stake. Watch out for the tent stake. Yep. What you doing? Uh, well, we're gonna try to burn this tree so we have lots of firewood. We're literally gonna be burning the tree. Because the thing about the uh, firewood situation is that uh, you always need more than you think. Oh, definitely. That's your first number one rule. You think you have enough? Get five times more. If we don't have a signal in here, how are we going to play music? I got one playlist on my phone. That's it. All right, y'all. So, we just figured out a really, really efficient way to use the hand saw, which we're about to show y'all right now. Simon, you need to do an uh, advert for your hookahs and call them the most traveled hookahs in the world. In the world. Right now, we in the middle of the woods. In the middle of the woods. Smoking hookahs. Smoking on that hookah, boy. Smoking hookah. on that hookah. Uh oh, I almost tipped them all. Oh, you got
morning. I look like I'm the first one up again. I went again and yes, there are clouds coming. So I don't know if it's going to um, rain, but uh, we'll see what today brings for us out here. We made it our first night overlanding in the 997. I'm wondering if I should go and see what brother Mitch is up to. Let's go see if he's up. It looks like our neighbors left something over there. I think they left the chair. They bugged out last night, but go investigate that too. Brother Mitch! Hello! Mm -hmm. What you doing? Hanging out. Hanging out in your, in your um, what you call it? Your hammock? What you doing, brother? I'm vlogging. You see my toilet? I see it. <laughs> Look like you had a spill there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Sorry, I just woke up, so I know I look sleepy. But I'm just taking a little stroll. So there was another campsite right next to ours. Like another spot where people were here when we got here. But they left kind of in the middle of the night because the rain was supposed to come in in the morning. And I don't think they were prepared for it. And I just realized... <laughs> They forgot their chair. See? They actually kind of have a little spot where it's has sort of a platform, but they have a, um, they didn't have a rooftop tent. They had a regular tent that was sitting on the ground. But um, they give us their firewood, which was very nice of them. But yeah, they bounced, and uh, there is no rain, which is awesome for us. But anyway, let me see. Oh, they have a little access too to the water, but ours look like a beach because you can walk into the water. Yours is kind of high. But this spot that we're in, somebody recommended us and just literally just give us coordinates. I don't know if Reza said that already or not, but <laughs> we decided to try it out. And then we kind of took a risk because we were doing it in a Porsche. And uh, we weren't really sure how the roads were, but from everybody we heard, they're like, okay, well, I think you guys can make it. It should be okay. So I'm glad we took a risk because this place is beautiful. The, these, uh, this creek gets really wide at certain areas and it looks so pretty and most of these camp places like the spots that you can kind of pull over and camp are right by the creek anyway so i think we're about to make some coffee and go for a hike hopefully it isn't going to rain we'll see so time to do some exploring all right so what's going on right now is i think we're going to go ahead and take down our tent the hammock and the rooftop tent just in case we get some rain the sun is peaking but it's an overcast and we were told that it's going to rain so we don't want to risk our tents getting wet and have to put away wet tents and then open them and dry and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna go ahead and pack that stuff away and then we're gonna start a fire we're gonna eat breakfast and then we're gonna get into some other adventures and I mean look how far along we've come in our camping trip we went from like not knowing what we were doing to setting up camp pretty efficiently and um yeah, being a completely 100% off grid. No water, no electricity, no cell phone service, no nothing out here. And we actually had a really good night. So, yeah, come along and we'll tell you all about our journey. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Almost fell over a, what you call it? What are we up to now? So, we just packed all of our tents because, as I mentioned before, it possibly might rain. We don't know, but we don't want to mess with the wet tent. So better safe than sorry. Everything is done. Now we're just going to grab some coffee and then go explore. Yep. Do some hiking yeah. like Vikings. This is not a slow-mo video. It's not a slow-mo video. Of me throwing an axe. Watch this. Look. No look. Axe throw. Y'all ready? Right. No, no look. <laughs> axe throw. <laughs> this guy. Watch this. <laughs> you should watch it because then you have to go find them. I see where it went. I'm going to try it again. No look. Mm -hmm. Axe throw. <laughs> Alright, one more time. No look, axe throw. 
It's stuck in the ground, though. That's hilarious. My turn. Hold. <laughs> Down range. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. These are super light. Nice. No look axe throw. Try not to hit the other one. Tear it up. Dang it. Oh, the wrong side. <gasps> nice. Nice. I knew Ukrainians yep, do axes. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Good one. Nice, nice. sis. Best axe thrower here. Yes. Somebody figured out how to throw the axes properly. <laughs> Somebody going to get it hurt real bad. Can you... Here, please. Here, please. Come. Come here, please. Why you do that? Tree bother me. Tree, tree, tree threaten my family. <laughs> okay, you did now. <laughs> Time for a vlog update. Um, we've been out here all morning. It's been raining. We were going to go hiking. We might still go hiking, yeah. but right now we're eating lunch. We had a light breakfast and coffee. And we've just been taking pictures and enjoying the beautiful uh, nature and surroundings that we're in. We've been getting hit with a little uh, on and off rain. But uh, hopefully after lunch, we'll go and get some hiking in and get some cool footage and yeah. then pack it up and go home. So this is not the end of the vlog yet, but... Hopefully we can show you guys around because this creek is beautiful. Yes. And there's like little waterfalls everywhere. So if the weather permits, we're going to go we can and go. hike. Black ramen. Ooh. Black ramen for Koro Taco. He's just eating worms. Actually, it's just worms That's I got out the ground. Worms. I forgot. I forgot my lunch at home, so I had to dig me up some dead earthworms. <laughs> All right, so this is the hiking part of the vlog, where we go and do things like hike. And uh, where are we gonna hike to? We're gonna hike to somewhere, and then we're going to come back and we're gonna overlay footage of us hiking right now. Okay, sadly we have reached the end of our uh, hike, so that means it's also the end of the vlog and something just crashed into the lake, not lake, but uh, river behind us, so yeah, that happened, but uh, yeah, so this was a great trip, uh, it was our first time going off grid, right, it was our first time uh, using the Porsche with the Smittyville uh, tent on the top of it. And it's going to be our last time using the Smittyville on the top of yes. anything. Yes. We're so saying goodbye to it very, very soon. Very soon. And uh, what else did we accomplish on this trip? Uh, other than no power, no water, no cell phone service either. Like Full completely off grid. Off grid. Yeah. None of us had cell phones. So. Yeah. So yes. it was been a good and eventful trip. And uh, we are Carrot to Life. Carrot to Life with a Y. Like, subscribe.
subscribe, comment, everything and anything that you can think of. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And big shout out to Merit for uh, giving us these coordinates because this place is amazing. And I will drop uh, Merit's uh, IG right there or right here or somewhere in the description. Right here. Somewhere. So you can uh, follow Merritt on IG because he's like a real hardcore camper and he gave us some really, really good This place spot. is definitely awesome for sure. Yes. All right, y'all. Care to life with the wide. Don't forget it. We are out of here. We'll see y'all in the next vlog. Peace. better place in the world to end your vlog than at Crispy Crunchy Chicken at Stanley's. We appreciate your business. Is it crispy and crunchy? It's both crispy and crunchy. Woo-wee! Mm -hmm. Crispy. Now we're really ending the vlog with a good old gas station dinner. Mm, I was so Ooh. hungry. <laughs> Ain't nothing like gas station chicken. Good. We are Carrot Life. Carrot Life with the Y. Off-roading in 9-11s and doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs>